Hi everyone, in this video I am going to introduce the bench setup at microwave. So we call it as microwave bench setup used to measure different different parameters like VSWR, power attenuation, waveguide and uh, wavelength and impedance. Okay, so microwave bench setup is used to find different microwave parameters microwave bench setup bench setup is nothing but which consisting of all the components from source to load bench setup used to find the following parameters the following parameters so what are they first one is power measurement so using the complete bench setup see here bench setup is nothing but all the microwave components connected together starting from source to load so bench setup is nothing but waveguide components waveguide components connected from source to load okay so waveguide all the waveguide components connected from source to load all together we can call it as a bench setup so the arrangement of this bench setup is used to measure the parameter like power and wavelength we can calculate wavelength lambda power is nothing but p capital p and frequency we are wavelength or we can say um, attenuation attenuation measurement attenuation is nothing but alpha and phase shift we can measure phase shift we can measure using this and VSWR measurement, VSWR measurement and impedance measurement, impedance measurement, okay. So impedance measurement, VSWR measurement, yes, phase shift, nothing but beta, okay. These are the various parameters that we can calculate using the complete bench setup, okay. Bench setup is nothing but complete setup from source to load so now let us see what are the various components involved in the connection or diagram of this bench setup and what is the purpose of each and every diagram we will see in detail so first one is microwave source the first and foremost block is a microwave source which generate electromagnetic signal in the microwave frequencies so first and foremost component is a microwave source what is the purpose of microwave source microwave source is used to generate electromagnetic signal em signal electromagnetic signal at microwave frequencies microwave frequencies that is the reason why we can call it as a microwave source you know source source is nothing but a device which is used to produce the uh, signal now immediately after this microwave source we can call it as a isolator we can connect an isolator okay here we will connect one isolator before this attenuator we will connect isolator okay this attenuator is also a variable attenuator not a fixed attenuator we can use a variable attenuator by keeping the attenuation in the minimum position okay coming to the second waveguide which is a isolator which is an isolator what do you mean by isolator the name clearly tells that isolator is a device which is used to isolate something okay so what it isolates it isolates the back power it 
isolates the back power. Suppose if the output of this isolator or a bench setup is connected to any other mis impedance mismatch device. So that impedance mismatch device what it causes? It causes standing wave. Okay, suppose if we are transmitting a wave like this. Here is a component we are connecting as a load. This load is having impedance impedance mismatch. Impedance mismatch. What happens then? Because of this impedance mismatch, the signal will be reflected back and traveled and superimposed with the transmitted signal. Superimposed with the transmitted signal. So because of this, it produces a standing wave. It produces a standing wave, which is uh, a combination of both transmitted signal and the re uh, reflected signal. Okay. So, such type of standing wave should not occur in the microwave bench setups. Okay. Because of this, what happens is the reflected signal goes into the source and source simply damages. So, in order to prevent that, an isolator is used immediately after the source. So, but that stops the back power that is coming towards the source. Okay, simply it isolates, it uh, terminates that to the match termination. Okay, so we can also say that isolatory is a device which transmits the power in only one direction. Okay, in the forward direction, the power transmitted only in forward direction, there is no back power. That is the use of isolatory immediately after the microwave source. So after that, variable attenuator is there. Variable attenuator is nothing but a tuning type device. Variable attenuator is nothing but a variable attenuator. Variable attenuator is a tuning device which is used to is a tuning device. Okay, used to add. some attenuation used to add attenuation based on tuning okay so variable attenuator is a device it will be generally like this a waveguide okay this is the shape of a waveguide if you go to your laboratory of the microwave laboratory then you can find such type of device where it is having a screw gauge type device with the primary and the secondary scale that is connected with a knob okay so now so by rotating this the frequency may increase or decrease that means the attenuation may increase or decrease so because of this one particular needle is there inside that goes penetrates into the waveguide or it is coming out because of this rotation okay so because of this rotation so uh, in this way generally a variable attenuator acts so the attenuation range is completely depending on our user interest okay we can completely penetrate the uh, rod or we can completely pull it up so if we completely pull it up what happens uh, the entire signal will be going outside there is no attenuation if we are inserting that uh, iron uh, rod what happens it slowly absorbs the incoming signal so that there is no output signal now coming back to the next one a frequency meter so frequency meter is connected frequency meter is a device which is a direct frequency meter frequency meter is a direct frequency meter where a frequency can be measured by rotating the knob of a frequency meter so use it to find the frequency of the incoming signal by rotating by rotating the knob of frequency meter okay by rotating the knob of the frequency meter we can estimate what could be the frequency and by having some dip in the 
output okay suppose if you are rotating 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 where you have to stop you need to stop where you will find some sudden change in the sudden fall in the output current okay so at that particular point you are going to measure some resonant frequency so generally that frequency is called as resonant frequency okay so immediately after that frequency meter you will be having a slotted line carriage a slotted line carriage is a device which is used to connect any other other devices to determine the parameters of the waveform which travels inside the waveguide okay suppose some electromagnetic signal are generated from this microwave source that is going with along through this uh, isolator variable attenuator frequency meter after that it enters into the slotted line if slotted line is a closed section then completely it goes to the termination but we are inserting some iron rod into this some rod into this uh, slotted carriage uh, so that some part is being coupled with the other device which is connected here which is known as a mount crystal detector it is a mount detector detector mount mount detector or we can say detector mount detector mount uh, mount tuning device it is also a tuning device where we can uh, couple the amount of power depending upon the tuning the output of this one is connected to thermal mount where we are detecting the output power so that detected mount is given to the power okay so crystal uh, what is that slotted section slotted section carriage used to couple the power used to couple the power from transmission line uh, from transmission line to the mount detector use it to calculate the couple the power from the transmission line to the mount to detector so after this mount detector we are we are having we are having a power meter or we can say it is a vswr meter so power meter is nothing but is nothing but vswr meter okay what is the meaning of vswr meter vswr meter is a meter where it detects the vswr and as well as the power okay two types of readings are there in that meter reading uh, one is the direct frequency meter uh, vswr meter reading and as well as the power reading okay which is in the red color so whichever is necessary that type of uh, measurement we need to consider the vswr meter okay now slotted section output is given to here uh, some part is inserted and that power is collected coupled here okay in that way it, it works the output of the slotted section carriage that means the other end of the slotted section carriage has to be terminated by the termination this termination is nothing but a match termination why it is match termination what happens if it is not match termination standing wave generates okay because of that standing wave we are having some problem in the transmission signal so to avoid that we are using terminations that to match terminations this is what the purpose of each and every component inside the um, bench setup suppose if you want to go to the directional coupler or circulator experiment so then you have to insert this uh, circulator or directional coupler at this particular point okay so here you are connecting this uh, uh, device where you want to connect the attenuation or power calculation so that we can calculate what is the amount of power that is coming out from the device okay suppose if you want to measure the attenuation that attenuation you have to keep what is the uh, um, without attenuator what is the amount of power and with attenuation what is the amount of power that also we can use completely measure using this power meter p okay here power meter that is used to show what is the amount of power which is a, a part of the vswr meter vswr meter okay this is what the 
complete bench setup of this microwaves which is used to determine several parameters like power phase shift attenuation vsw or frequency and impedance wavelength also we can calculate these are the different parameters that we can calculate using this complete bench setup 